So, let us compare the Intel Core i3-5015U with the Pentium N 3540. The one thing you need to notice that they belong to the totally different architecture Broadwell in Batrail. The Broadwell series the regular or mainstream processor which belongs to the same category as the latest the Sky, Sky Lake or the earlier Haswell or Sandy Bridge like that. Baytrail is a low power variation which are significantly slower in terms of performance. They are more tailored for lower power consumption and and they were made for the Intel's netbook kind of things. So, we are talking about two diff totally different architecture and that is one thing you need to keep in mind. That is unlike the comparison of Broadwell and in a Skylake processor where the incremental difference in terms of architecture is not very significant like 5 percent performance improvement for the same clock to clock. But Bay Trail in Broadwell for the same given clock frequency you cannot predict the performance and that is why, why you will need to compare their benchmark and so on and so forth. So, let us take a look at this the Broadwell is obviously the newer processor launched in first quarter of 2015. Uh, it is a it is a dual core versus quad core, but again as I said it is totally different architecture. So, it is it, difficult to predict it. Nonetheless, the uh, you know, quad core makes the um, Pentium N3540 in Bay Trail to catch up in performance and it is not as slow as you know. But the key thing is that low power at 7.5 watt for the Bay Trail versus 15 watt in the Broadwell. In the memory we have a higher bandwidth uh, for Broadwell, but uh, uh, Baytrail has also been catching up in the terms of the bandwidth. Integrated graphics is way better for Broadwell with HD graphics 5500 allowing you to play maybe low and uh, low uh, bandwidth uh, games at the low, low resolution. With the Bay Trail, uh, you will barely be able to play any game if at all. So, that is uh, what makes it. Now, in terms of uh, pricing, obviously the Broadwell is going to be significantly more expensive, but uh, Pentium N3540 is also not priced uh, very cheap. So, let us take a look at the processor benchmark, it is at 1967. It is pretty good for a Bay Trail line of processor which used to be uh, hovering around 1000 or 1200. Obviously, Core i3-3150U is much better at 3173. So, given a choice, personally I would prefer Core i3-5015U and pay a little more to get a mainstream processor. Hope this comparison helps you. Thanks for taking a look.